Hello students, how are you doing today? I made this video to orient you to a couple of the upcoming labs. First I want to show you a couple of important pages in the course that will help you stay on track. So the first one is the 15 week course schedule. I had this in the welcome video but I just wanted to reiterate it because it is so helpful to me. In the table of contents in the syllabus is the 15 week schedule. Once you open that document this tool right here is the bookmark tool and I already have it bookmarked so if you bookmark something it shows up in the content right at the very top so once you've bookmarked something it's now in this um, top item in the table of contents and this is where I like to store important files so I have the 15 week schedule there another great page you could have in there is the uh, laboratory experiments estimated time requirements this will, page will help you stay on track of um, how much time you need to set up an experiment and when what other additional materials you might need that aren't in the kit so for lab 7 ecology of organisms you need about three hours total to complete this lab this would be another great page to have bookmarked. So let's bookmark that. Now in that same area in this in the syllabus you'll also find important pages like uh, the laboratory authentic assessment which says which labs need a photo attachment. So for ecology of organisms uh, you will need to submit two photos. Okay, and I really urge you to include these photos in your Word document. I already posted a video about how to resize those photos. If you send me a file that's 10 megabytes, I won't be able to open it. Um, so please make sure you're sending me like web quality images rather than um, print quality images. Another page you'll find in this area of the syllabus is the lab report requirements in rubric. Okay, and it says right here, although I've had several questions about it, you only need to write a lab report for the Demography and Household Environmental Impact Lab now that we have finished the How to Write a Lab Report Lab. This page will show you the requirements for writing a lab, so it's a reiteration of that lab we just finished, okay, and here is a rubric just for the demography and household environmental impact labs you do not need to write a lab report for your regular lab assignments regarding the regular lab experiments there is also a page called lab experiment information and rubric which will give you general information about the labs and it also includes a rubric so this is for your 15 point lab now a lot of folks have been it seems kind of stressed out now that they're getting involved in their lab report or their lab work but I want to show you this rubric so realize that the main point of this rubric is to assess your effort okay I just want you to go through the lab experiment processes this is the kinetic material in the course and it's important that you have this hands-on experience to complement the more passive experience of reading the textbook okay I am never when there's only 15 points in an assignment I am never going to slice and dice your work as long as you show that you have done the work and you're trying to understand you will um, get a passing grade on these lab experiments so try to relax and enjoy them rather than be extremely disturbed by what I might be looking for I just want you to know that what I'm looking for is effort. In the syllabus you'll also find the discussion participation in rubric and here again you'll see that the rubric outlines my expectations it is a guideline for you to follow and it's a guideline for me to follow in grading so all grading is objective um, in response to these criteria so let's talk about lab 7 the ecology of organisms the lab manual is a PDF file on the CD in your lab kit 
Now I understand that in the Dropbox there is also a document, oh sorry, um, that represents like a a worksheet that you might that you would hand in to the Dropbox. Okay, I do not want you going through the lab by using this worksheet. This is just the final product. I really want you to be using the lab manual because when you get into the lab manual you get a lot of information that is specific to the lab. So they all start with this um, narrative about the topics at hand and offers some advice about concepts that might um, coincide with our textbook concepts. And then you get down to the experiment. So let's back up here and look at our Dropbox. So notice that in the Dropbox there is the name of a lab, okay, Ecology of Organisms. And then there are two submission areas for each experiment. So in the lab manual, here is the start of the first experiment, okay? Now you're going to see that this now looks like that lab report assistant. There may have been questions in the body of the lab manual that you, I recommend you answer for your own learning. But what I want you to hand in are the things associated with these procedures that are also duplicated on this worksheet, this RTF file, which is attached to each Dropbox. Okay, I hope that's helpful to you. Okay, let's talk about Lab 8 for a second. So another lab that is due soon, although I did extend this deadline, um, is the Ecosystems Lab. So here I am consulting this Laboratory Experiments Estimated Time Requirements page again. So this lab should take you about 10 minutes to set up but you need seven days of observation. So this lab is currently due on October 5th. That means you need to set this up today, okay? And this is one of the major challenges in this course. You need to be prepared to set up an experiment and wait for something to happen. That's what environmental science is all about. It's a lot of observation-based experimentation, okay? It's not, you can't just get into the lab kit on the due date and hope to finish the labs three hours later. It just will not work, okay? I will do my best to help you. You can also help each other um, to remember these and to discuss in the help the forum. And I've been very um, pleased with the discussion there. Um, I try to respond to that forum every single day. It's the first thing I do when I enter the class. Um, so please ask questions there and definitely ask specific questions, questions that I can respond to in one interchange or another student can respond to in one interchange rather than me having to send an email that says, can you please clarify your question is too general. Then you've wasted another day of um, potentially getting a response from me or another student. So be specific. Um, give us page numbers in the lab manual or directly quote the information in the lab manual if you have a question about labs. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy um, this next round of experimentation and let me know if you have questions.